Okay, guys, so what we did or what we're doing today is making sure that this armrest sits at a comfortable position because it's all limp and that's not comfortable and I don't like that. So that's what we're going to get to. Let's get in the back of the car and actually get that fixed. And that was a cop, so I guess someone's in trouble, not me. Let's get in the back. Now that we're inside, I already pulled that piece out. Got a 14 mil socket on my drill. Holy shit. I'll have to break that with my hand. My drill's too much of a bitch. Oh, Christ. I see why my drill was too much of a bitch. Ooh, that washer is like bent to hell. Screw that back in. So why does it flow past? I wonder if that washer gives it space enough because it's bent out. The other one's fine. We gotta straighten that. That's not okay. And unfortunately, that means that I've gotta turn the car off, go all the way inside, grab something, hammer this out, then come back. I don't even know how much noise the car was making. Okay. Bring you guys with me. Now we're out here, we're just gonna bang her off. Seems stupid, but it's the best way I can do it. Still not a hundred percent. Could possibly bend it, but I don't really have the stuff for that right now. So this I'll have to do. So now that that's a tiny bit straighter, I just want to know why every time I was like pushing down on it, it would go past it. I don't know. It should be better now. Still gonna put the screw in. Well, I fixed the washer problem. I still don't like how low it goes, so we're gonna try it. This is not a necessary mod, but a mod I want to do. Tired of hair creeping down my neck.
So I got to put it in the back. Okay, so that's all I did. I just put a screw in it and that will change its resting position, hopefully to a better one. I've seen other people like, if I can, if I can find it, I'll put a picture up, but people weld in this spot, like literally put a, a, a bead there and it's like, no way, buddy. I guess this is just as permanent, but. <clears throat> now this goes in this end. It's not poking out the other side. You can't feel it. It really did help that I straightened that washer out. Spinner on. It's super high. I don't know if I like it. I mean, I don't know. Now that I fixed the fact, it's not that good that that comes out so easy. I won't make you guys sit through this part. I'll just skip to the result. So that's just in now. I got it to a position I think I like. We're gonna go over and test it. See how she works. Oh yeah, it's perfect. I had to do a little bit of modification, but all I did was just strip the hole out a bit and make it worse because I'm dumb. <laughs> but it does work. I am happy with it. I'm just gonna fix your guys' camera angle. We're doing outro and we'll be done with this. Turn the car off. Oh yeah, 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 keys, I know. They're in my hands. Okay guys, so now it's tight. It sits well, it doesn't do its limp. Feels good when I'm like actually using the steering wheel. And the passenger one's been fine. This was just kind of a little one I wanted to get in there. Listen to that, squeak, squeak, squeak. I'll have to work on that one next, but that's not the focus of today, she's fine. We got the armrest in a good position because I hate busting my elbow. That's pretty much it, guys. Um, hope you like the new intro, the new like and sub thing. I'll be getting some new videos out soon. Things have just been slow and work's been hectic and long, but you didn't come here to listen to me, bitch. Long story short, thanks for checking in, guys. Join me for the next one, and uh, I'll see you soon.